My first question today is how did you first get into the later life sector? Um, my background actually was in house building. Actually, my father was a house builder. So I grew up being dragged around building sites and things to look at when I was young. And it seemed a natural thing for me to do after, after my education to go and learn to work with him, to work with him actually a few years, which I did, to learn about all of the different aspects of, of house building. And uh, then, of course, I was about 22, 23. So I, um, as you do at 22, 23, I thought I must have learned everything about it by now. So time to go and do something else. And my sister's boyfriend, as the things randomly happen, was a doctor. He just qualified. He was at the same school as me, but he'd just got, come back from Oxford. He'd just qualified in his first couple of years as a locum. And we were in the pub one night, as you are, and we were talking about the fact we both knew everything about medicine and house building. We ought to do something together. And we agreed we'd start a business together. The one, the one thing any older person will ever tell you anywhere, stop them in the street and say, what's your, what's your vision for how you would want to live in old age? And all of them, well, 95% of them will say to you, I want to stay living in a, a home of my own for as long as possible, stay independent, do not want to be institutionalized, go into, into care. Um, I want to delay it for as short a period as possible. So what I saw with care homes, and they were lovely, what we were developing, they were very state-of-the-art, much better, and were very successful. It wasn't, truthfully, between you and I, it wasn't that difficult to be successful because the rest of it was so awful. But anyway, that's by the by. We then saw a lot of people coming in who were coming in much too early. They didn't need to come into a residential institutional care setting, but they came because they'd run out of options in their own home. They couldn't be supported properly. So it was, uh, again, probably at the pub one night, we decided, well, let's combine my background in housing with what we're providing with a residential care setting. And when we go and build a care home somewhere, alongside it, we'll build some houses or apartments. And we'll give people the opportunity to live in a home of their own, which they can buy and own, which is very important psychologically, gives them independence, but have all the facilities of the care home right next door. 